Well, tonight preparations are underway for the funeral of a 14-year-old girl, Beatriz Nieto. She was the West Osu Junior High School student who was fatally shot last week. And services will be held on Monday. She'll be laid to rest in a custom casket thanks to one local artist. Our Bill Churchwell was there as Nieto's family saw that casket for the first time. You may have already seen some of the Liao brothers' work driving around town, but their latest creation is taking on a very special meaning for one local family. Beautiful work, beautiful work. Shiny and sparkly red. Just how the family describes the personality of 14-year-old Beatrice Nieto. It's sparkling. That's the way she did every day. She sparkled in everybody's eyes, she sparkled, especially in my eyes, mom's eyes. It's something different than just your regular casket. No, it's also a little tribute to her. Pretty Liao is the artist behind the custom casket. He says it took about three days to get just right. And they threw me some ideas and I said, just give me what you got, let me take care of the rest. The casket outlined by a mural of pictures of the teenager, cherished memories for the family. She loved her niece, you know, very much. The artist revealing his work to Nieto's parents for the first time. She's gonna love it. I was going to say, you know, talking about her personality, would you say her, the casket matches that? Yes, that's her. Liao and his brothers are mostly known for putting their personal touch on show-stopping rides. But they have found their skills can also help grieving families create a unique way to honor their loved ones. The work of art that you see here, it's a, it's a family affair that we do. This is his shop's eighth casket to design this year. A while back, i say like five years ago with Flatline, we did his casket and from there it, it just kept on going. People kept on asking. Perfectly painted and made from the heart. A way to bring a little comfort to a family and their time of healing. If she was here, she would love it. I know she's looking down, looking at it like, man, she's still shining even though she's gone. Visitation and a celebration of life will be taking place Monday morning on November 9th at the Corpus Christi Altar of Prayer Church. Burial will follow at Memory Garden Cemetery. Bill Churchwell, 3 News.